Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kareem Trent and today is Monday, so you know what that means. Mini Monday Madness. We're doing some mini wildflower painting tutorial today because it's nice and sunny this week where I live and going to be really kind of warm, so it's got me in the mood. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go over my supplies. I have two pieces of scrap. These are scrap from my Arches 100% cotton paper. They're three inches by three inches. Um, I have my water up here, my paper towel here, my paints over here, and my palette. Um, various brushes over here. I think I'm going to start with um, a Princeton number five round since it's working small today. Work out the small brush. Um, I just paint floral, excuse me, flowers intuitively. I don't like draw them out especially when I'm doing wildflowers. Um, it's just how I work. So you can grab whatever color you want first. I think I'm gonna grab this rose color. I have a rose in here, just a basic rose color. And I'm gonna make a basic flower shape. And I usually start with like one big flower and then I work out from there, kind of how I work. Now you could do a scene where it just goes across in both of them. Or you can have two separate ones. I think I might do two separate ones, but they coordinate together so they have similar colors and patterns and flowers, whatnot. So I'm just going to start by making a simple flower. See the petals? Just moving my brush around like this. And it's wet, but it's not super wet. So I'm just pushing strokes like this. You can pull it around. And that's just like a simple flower. If you want to go in and grab some darker crimson and just dab the edges here and watch it bleed. It makes a nice pretty flower to do that. Very simple. I've shown that a million times. So I want it to be multicolored. I'm going to grab some medium yellow. I'm going to mix it over here in the little pan over here and regular light yellow. It's hard to show my palette and my minis at the same time because it's very small. So I might make like a little sunflower here. I'm just going to use this brush is perfect for the petals or sunflower. So I'm just pushing down. And going like this and I'm curving it towards the side and then here because the sunflowers are going to have this perfectly round flower. Kind of looks like it's blowing in the wind. Now you can grab some of the darker medium yellow and you could bleed in, touch in with some rose mixed together with a little orange and you can bleed that in if you want. I have my brush. Up up top here I'm gonna make it look like delphiniums maybe, you know, bluish purple. So I add ultramarine and some dioxide purple to get that look. A little more ultramarine. I can mix it up here. Ultramarine. If you see this color. There's ultramarine, it's very blue. And then grab the purple. So it'll be like a bluish purple. And get that little bit of sweat. And then dab it in a paper towel. And I'm just gonna grab these little downward shaped. flowers. I might grab another one and put it up over here. And there you go. And at this point I might I might do another two one or two flowers over here and then start putting in my greenery. So I might actually do more of a purple flower. I do a pansy or Set the flower down here. Maybe I do like a little pansy. 
So I've showed you a tutorial how to do pansies. Simple pansy here. I probably should have left a little more white space in here. If I clean up my brush, I can kind of do that. Or if that doesn't work, you take a paper towel and just hit it right in the middle there. Then I'm going to grab some concentrated purple, put it right in the middle, and have that bleed out. Now since I dabbed it, that much is going to bleed out until you hit that other part. That's cute, right? Little teeny pansy. You want to do a couple of those. So just leaving one there. Do another one over here. Again, I grab that concentrated purple. I just dab it right in the center and it will bleed out nicely. With this paper, it bleeds nicely. Other papers, you have to manipulate it. Manipulate it. Sorry, I can't talk. It's Monday. All right, so at this point, I'm going to grab some of my green paint. This is a medium green mixed with some yellow. And I'm going to start making some greenery happen. Just simple little petals. Some stems, and then I'll pull some out over here and some petals over here. Now, some flowers have a darker stem and darker leaves. But I want to add some more flowers in here. So I might grab some more pink, or I might grab some orange. I think I'll grab some pink, some of that rose. And I'll put another one of those flowers in here. Very simple. I went over that green, so I'm going to try and wipe that green away. Put that rose back in. Grab some of the concentrated crimson and hit the middle. Like I've shown you a bazillion times. And that should bleed out. Over here, I think I want to do some vine, like bluebells or little vine type. Small. This brush is great, so it has a great point to it. Tiny belly, which is good. See, I'm doing this little. And you can put some little flowers in the ends of those. And get some dark green going in here. Out here. Where the sunflower would be. And then over in here. We're just building this little composition. I'm a build it as you go kind of gal. Some people like to draw it all up. Again, I'm putting more of like a branch up there and I'll add some flowers to it. Clean up my brush. So here might be like, I'll add some turquoise with some ultramarine. More of a blue flower. Just to change up the color tones a bit. I need some more yellow, so I'm going to add some yellow ones up here. Using the same color as I used here. I'll just dab those in up there. So now we get this cute wildflower kind of scenery happening. I grab some lime green. Get some more greenery going in here. Filling in some areas. Put 
put some leaves connected to this one. So now we're really filling it in. And you have like a little scene already. So now we're going to do the details. Um, the sunflower, I'm going to get some of that medium yellow and add a little red to it so it's orange. And I'm going to just hit the side of each petal, not all of them, but some of them. As you can see here. And then the middle, I'll get that burnt umber. Makes it a little black. I'm going to leave a little halo. And you get that little sunflower. The pink one, you can decide to keep that black and not black in the middle, yellow. Um, I think I'm going to try. Or if you wanted to make it look more like an anemone, you could make the black with the little stamens coming out. You could do that. Since you have a black one here, you can keep the same thing. Or, like I said, yellow. Let's see how the yellow looks. If we like it. If we don't, we can go back in and fix it. We definitely put yellow in here with the pansy. Now I feel like this blue purple up here is kind of flat, so I'm going to add a little deeper tone to it. Just on the edge of it. Just dabbing that in there. I'm going to grab some of the darker green too and go in between. And over in here. You can add the veins and leaves or just some lines around them to indicate just not this flat leaf. So I'm going in and adding some highlights. And there's some stems up there. I can add some more pink flowers up there just to balance it out. And then on this flower, I can take some of my rose. And I'm just going to make these lines to pull up from the center outward. Just to give the flower more depth. It's not this flat. Same thing with the bottom one. We're just feathering out. I call it feathering out. You're pushing from the inside out, word, to the outer edge of the, of the petal. We can throw in some pink colors over in here to balance it out. So there's one little mini. Now you want to get even darker. Just grab some of that crimson. Go in there. Get it even darker. If that's not dark enough, you can add some crimson with a little indigo or some violet. And get it even darker. To really showcase the center there. Oh, well, that's kind of cute, right? So there's one. And then we'll go back in and how you make a coordinate. So you're going to use similar flowers again, but maybe like show it the opposite way like so now I'll do a sunflower a bigger one make that more of a bigger focus than the other one see again same type of petals and leaves just the opposite way and I might add two of those this one I make like a it's not fully open and then I can go in and add the pink flower I'll do it down here. I'm making that one smaller than the last one. And you could add in the pansies or the delphinium can be bigger in here. So let's try that. 
Let's make the delphinium type flower. I'm trying to mix my blue with my purple again. Here we go. It could be a lupin, foxglove. I'm just making these purple blobs. You can just imagine the flower itself. And I actually think I'm going to throw in three sunflowers in this one. Small one right here. Yep. And then I'll do the pansy. Kind of in the same place. One here. So it's three petals with another one behind it. Try to keep the center white. And you can go back in and grab concentrated purple dioxide or whatever color you have and just hit that center and watch it bleed out so simple to make these going to grab the green the dark green stem for these guys put that big old sunflower leaf in there they have those really big leaves and then I'm going to put the greenery through the faux delphinium. Get that lime green color in here. And here's the green color for this sunflower. What's that light green color going into the <clears throat> pansy? And the pink flower. We're just filling it in. So building that one up. If you want to add a red flower this time, I'm grabbing my medium red. Dabbing that off and just putting in a fun like red poppy. Put a red poppy there. You can blow one up here. So they see how simple these little petals are just taking the brush, leaving a little white in the center. And you get these fun poppies. If they're too pale, let's go back in and add some deeper red. I think I'm going to go over here too. See how I just manipulate that and leave that little center. So it's <clears throat> similar but different, see? I've added the poppy, changed it out. And then we're gonna take that dark green paint. We can go and add another poppy stem like that. Take the lime green color. Some little branches down here, a little grass. Now we're going to go build into that sunflower. We're going to add that medium yellow mixed with a little medium red. So make that orangey yellow color. And we're just going to feather out, giving that sunflower some personality, dimension. Very simple. Now, this pansy, you see that one? It got ugly and bled. I just noticed that. I'm gonna have to wipe that up, mop it. The green bled into the purple. And it got quite ugly. So you see I'm mopping it up and hitting my paper towel. And I can go back in and add the purple. 
once I do that. All right, I might just add a little dark green over here. And then add some color to that one in a bit. All right, so we're going to go back and continue the pink scenario we did before. We're going to take some the deeper rose. We're going to feather out. Here I didn't hit the middle and ble bleed the color out. I'm just taking the actual dark concentrated rose and just feathering out the color. And then this is still a little wet, but you can take your black and burnt umber and go in and leave a little halo of the sunflower. That one doesn't have one because that one's closed. Now for the poppy, you can go in and add the black there. I didn't put a stem there. I'm going to put a stem over there. It's floating. And you can go in and add some details to get a darker color on your leaves. And if you brush, and up here I'm going to add some more pink to balance it out below. You're just playing around with the composition. That's how I do the composition. It's that simple. And we'll put some yellow in this flower. And then down here I think I'll do some of that blue again. Oop, I made it green because <laughs> I added my yellow. My yellow was on my brush and it made it green. So we'll do that fun little blue again. And then just fill in a little bit because it looks a little white in here. Some light green, lime green color. Oops. Let's fill it in. It's a little bright. Gonna have to tone that down a little bit. But you get the idea. So look at that. Two simple, bright, fun, mini wild wildflowers, I guess. Summer wildflowers. Yeah, summer wildflowers. Yeah. Tutorial on Monday for Mini Monday Madness. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for all your comments in this community. I really appreciate you all, and I hope you have a great day.